coast town of Nairn, which happens to be my hometown. Uh, I've been at Stravagan all across Ireland, and uh, last time we saw, saw Dave Sharp wasn't that long ago, Dave. Not that long ago. Oh, yes, what, we were down in North Wales. What a nice surprise to, to Indeed, catch you. Indeed, yes, with my old partner in crime, Mike Peters. You were, yeah, that was a doing, big... doing the annual gathering thing. Yeah. Yeah, and we we caught up here, and and it was, it was probably, for this reason alone, probably the best Dave Sharp gig that I've seen because you had about eighty of your real fans. Yes, yes. It was. It we, was had a, we had a, we had a great show, and uh, before we were going into the show, I think that was around about the time where Jeff Beck passed away. It was, and a good friend of mine, a kind of real musicologist fellow. Rang me up and he said, uh, he said, are you going to do a Jeff Beck song? So, uh, yes, the transport has just arrived. We'll just have a look at it. Just park it over there, James, and I'll be with you in a second. You're a bit early. <laughs> You're a bit early. I've got another set. <laughs> so, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes. My, uh, my good friend called me up and asked me if I was going to do a... A Jeff Beck song. Yeah. I thought you can't do a Jeff Beck song. Only Jeff Beck can do Jeff Beck yeah. songs. You know, yeah. like, I thought, nice, no, nice. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm overcome by the car. It's got white wall tires. It's a Lincoln, I think. Yeah. It's a Lincoln Continental. Continental. Very nice. Very sweet. So, uh, anyway, where was I? You were, I. Uh, not been able to do uh, oh Jeff Beck song. Jeff Beck right. song. So uh, anyway, a couple of days later, I, I thought of something, and we did uh, we did Silver Lining, and it was insane. Of course, it, it was, was absolutely insane. They were jumping magical. up and down. Yeah. Magical, yeah. magical. Yeah. Was, what was, a spirit! I was there. Jeff was Beck. about two thousand people in the room there. What a spirit! Yeah. Yeah, lovely. So, what have you been doing since then? And then I'm going to ask you what's coming up next. Uh, well, getting ready for this. Um, coming up here for the first run back since all the COVID nonsense. Yes. Yeah. Uh, first proper. Uh, you like it up here, eh? It's wonderful. I mean, um, folk really know music up here. Yeah. Uh, and and there's, a, there's a real strong sense of community. Yeah. Um, and it's wonderful to play music in that sort of setting. You know, you can really get deep into it and yeah. put it out there. You know, um, and your spirit's always uplifted when you get out here. It's wonderful, wonderful. So after this, uh, I'm heading down to Cardiff. Yeah. After now, so we'll go down there next week to to do a thing with Mike again. Yeah. I think uh, I think there's some kind of a big orchestra and choir plan of some kind. Nice. Then I have to travel all the way back up the way. Yeah, who plans this? Who's your agent? Well, it's the chap with the uh, the blindfold and the uh, <laughs> the dartboard. <laughs> uh, so know, up to way. Either that, or, or, or he doesn't quite. He, he's not really into, the, into this music, you know. What date are you on in Wick? Oh gosh, oh, uh, so it's not next weekend, but it's supposed to be the Thursday following next weekend. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's a wonderful group of people that are organising it, HCE. Yeah. Uh, I really do hope they get it together up there, because it'll be the first time I've been in Wick at the Blackstairs. Blackstairs the next room. All, for, in almost about seven years, yes. if not more. Yes. Uh, I went up to, I usually go up to Thurso. Yeah. And things have changed around a little bit up there, so no, it'd be nice Blackstairs. to get back to Wick. Yeah. And all those wonderful, beautiful, crazy people. Yeah. It's nuts. a lovely thing. It's nuts up there. And then back For those that might be tuning in from elsewhere, uh, we're in the Highlands of Scotland, uh, which is pretty far up in the British Isles. Uh, we're near Inverness, but Wick and Thurso, it's another well, 100 next, miles. Next stop, you fall off the edge. That's, it's another 100 miles, so it's oh, another yes. part of the world altogether. And then, of course, after that, we're uh, we're going to play for the wonderful trawler people in Fraserburgh. Right. Okay. We always have a great time doing that yeah. at the harbour, at the harbour bar. Yeah. And yeah. then it's on down to. Uh, You've got that festival. Oh that yeah, festival. yeah. We, I just got um, I just got a call to do the McMurray Festival yeah. at Elgin. Yeah. On the Sunday, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, so many good friends are going to be there. Yeah. Big country. Uh, oh, everybody's going to be there on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, can't uh, and, and, I got a call. Can you come and 
squeeze yourself onto a pill. So nice. I could not possibly turn it down. Excellent. So that's Elgin. That's coming yeah. up. And okay. then it's off back to Manchester and on down to Devon from there. Oh, well. That's all, okay, well, that's all sure. of the run, yeah. So uh, what's your feelings on how the atmosphere is out there in, the, in folk and roll? Well, yeah, obviously... Because there, there's nobody more uh, with their finger on the pulse of the venues well, and stuff. Well, it's so. obviously changed night and day after yeah. the last three years, you know. And it just feels like everybody's slowly coming back together again and getting a bit more confident about things. Uh, you know, on a personal level, I feel great being back out on the road again. You know? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I was just going crazy. Three yeah. years of, of, uh, of distraction, you know. Yeah. Uh, but it feels good. Everybody seems to be in tune. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Have you got some stuff coming up with Mike? Uh, this yes, this will be this Cardiff thing. Just that one good. Yeah. But that's, For now, yeah. That, that's a... That's an extravaganza. Okay, so uh, I've got the website address up there. Anybody can get through to uh, DaveSharp.org. That all the dates will be there. Dave's uh, very receptive. If you send an email from that particular site, absolutely do what we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, if you can catch him, catch him. If you can, because he's going to be somewhere near you. Thanks, Ron. I, pre I appreciate. It. Well, great so what we're going to do is great and. To come to my hometown and find a Dave Sharp gig waiting for me on the first day. That I came. This is my, uh, this is my dad's well, boozer. You 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 know this place from I know, a long time. Ago. I know. I used yeah. to drink here, and I had my first. And I said, said this in another broadcast. I had my first alcoholic beverage in this bar with my dad, and the owner of the bar his name was Tommy Cowan, and he was a huge music fan. How old fan. were you? I was twelve. You should be locked up. I know my dad's a good that, That's what he did. That's what he did in those days. I will give that boy a shandy. And it was oh yeah, problem. I've heard that one before. Anyway, so the boy got a shandy, and we got to listen to uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band on the day on of the its day release in this bar Fantastic. right here. So we're at the have look. Wonderful, thanks, Rob. Thank you very much, guys. That's See you. We're all out of here. Thank you. I'll I'll come back with a song. Uh, from the set in the second set because it's a game of two halves. It's a game of two halves, Brian. I better get to work. You better get. Okay. That's us. Thanks.